Right behind me, guys, is one of the most beautiful islands in the world. And for the next few days, I'm gonna be catching my own food, starting from a $1 piece of seafood all the way through to a giant $1,000 piece of seafood. What's even bloody worth $1 in the ocean? I guess we're gonna find out, but what we're doing is we're gearing up to go hunting, guys. But by the end of this video, I'm gonna have you drooling all over your screen. $1,000 piece of seafood. Let's get out into the water, let's go. How this is gonna work is over the next few days, guys, I'm gonna be using a whole different array of weapons to target different animals. And as you can imagine, day number one, an animal that's worth $1, well, it's not moving very quick. So. We're gonna grab our weapon out of our backpack and it's gonna be this bad boy. The big old Bowie knife. This thing is rusty as all tomorrow. But let me tell you, this animal, she's not moving quick and we should be able to take her down with this knife. So let's gear up, let's get in the water. And let's go target our first species worth $1. So as you guys can see right behind me, we've got a beautiful reef system out there. I'm gonna be taking down whatever I can that's worth $1. So whatever animal presents itself, that's gonna be our meal for day number one. <laughs> All right, we got what we need right here. These conditions are getting crazy. It's time to head in. Woo Guys, we have done it, man. We have got our $1 creature. And you can see this thing right here. Look at it. This is the big old sea cucumber. And this thing right here, well, let me tell you, no one on the bloody planet wants to eat this thing. And we're gonna rip into it right now. You guys saw out there, that weather has taken a turn for the worse. There's a cyclone that's building off the coast right now. So what we got is we've got a little break right now and we're gonna have to bloody watch ourselves because this cyclone is tracking towards us and it's gonna get crazy, guys. But we're not stopping. We got our first animal right here worth $1. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip into this thing, see what it's been eating, and then we're gonna try eat it. I'm not looking forward to this. This is a sea cucumber, and a lot of you guys might know it as the water pistol from the channel, and that's because they were shooting water out there. They actually shoot out water. And these animals, guys, they actually eject their intestines as a form of self-defense. Now, over here, guys, these are pretty much considered worthless. I know in some Asian countries, they actually consider them some type of delicacy, but over here, guys, these are worth nothing, and that's why this thing is probably worth maybe one dollar, and that's what you're gonna get for it. I don't even know how to approach a thing. I'm just gonna split it open, I think, and just rip all the guts out. This has gotta be one of the weirdest things ever, man. I've eaten sea cucumbers before, but never any like this. I'm just making a cut down the middle. Oh my goodness. Take a look at this, guys. I've just split her open, and that's what's come out of this sea cucumber. Are you kidding me? Look at that, that's all of its guts, man. All right, we don't want any of that and getting rid of it. All right, you guys can see we have cleaned out this thing. That's about as good as we're gonna get. So I think we're just gonna slice off a little fillet. Can't believe I'm bloody eating one of the worst things in the ocean in a bloody cyclone. That looks absolutely disgusting. Are you kidding me? All right, give her a clean out. It's time to get this thing down and see what she tastes like. Oh, this is not gonna be good, man. It's not often that I spit It's not often that I spit it out guys, but that 
That's gotta be one of the most rogue things I've ever eaten in my life. That is absolutely disgusting, man. It's like sour and bitter at the same time. I don't even know how that's possible, but that is freaking disgusting. I know now why this is worth $1. There's no way I'm eating this. You gotta pay me squillions to put that back in my mouth. Any animal that ejects its intestines as a form of self-defense should not be eaten. We have eaten the $1 creature and it was absolutely disgusting. What we gotta do is we gotta grab a new weapon, head to a new part of the coastline and get out into the water from there. And hopefully we can get something a little bit better than this bloody disgusting turd looking sea cucumber. That is gonna be one of the worst things I've ever eaten in my life. If I cannot complete the rest of this challenge, you guys know why. Alrighty guys, we have punched it down the coast right now and it looks absolutely incredible behind me. We've got a little bit of a gap in the weather right now. You guys can see it has just stopped raining. It was absolutely pelting down on us on the way here. So we're on to our next weapon, which is this thing right here. Now this is actually a pole spear guys. And the way it works is you've got a rubber band right here and you pull it forward just like that and you let go and boom. That's how you're gonna get the animals. What we're onto is a $10 animal. So we're gonna swim off the shore here and see what we can find. Maybe we'll get a crab, an octopus. It just needs to be worth $10. But we need to gear up, we need to get into that water and we need to get some food guys because we're running out of time and who knows when that cyclone's gonna hit us. I just want you guys to take a look at how incredible this beach is right now. You guys can see it's this big rocky headland and just out there, there's a nice fringing reef. And I think if we can swim along there with the hand spear, it's gonna be a good opportunity for us to find some type of food for $10. Let me tell you, I'm still bloody scarred from that sea cucumber. That thing was bloody disgusting. All right, let's get out in the water and let's go get some food, eh? Let's go. to hit this poor guy. All right, we're gonna use it for bait. Hopefully we can bring in some other fish. Absolutely frothing right now. 
we've got a mixed bag of fish right here. Now guys, a little bit earlier on when I ate that bloody sea cucumber, I felt like I ripped you guys off a little bit. It probably really wasn't worth one dollar because I spat it out, right? So. I had to get this little bad boy. You can see it's just a little trigger fish. Now this thing guys, probably in Australia or something like that, would be worth maybe like $5, if that really. The thing is tiny, it's just a little small fish, but that is our $5 fish. A cool fact about these trigger fish guys is that they actually build nests out in the ocean. They make this nest in the sand and then what they do is they swim around and protect it. If any other fish come through and try and eat their eggs, they've got these teeth right here. They can bloody eat an apple through a tennis racket and they will smash you, these fish. So Now this right here guys, this is what they call a mother-in-law fish and the reason for that is when you catch them, you're supposed to give them to your mother-in-law. They're not very good eating and that is the reason why you bloody give them to your mother-in-law. They're also called a sweet lip and that is because you can see inside their mouth right there it is a bright like ready pink color and that fish right there that is probably worth about ten dollars so yeah that's a beautiful fish we're going to be getting that one over the fire and finally guys I had to take the shot on this fish. This right here guys is what they call a roy or a coral trout. They're like a type of groper that live out on the reef and this right here is actually one of the most beautiful eating fish on the bloody planet. And this thing's probably worth about $30 to $50 depending where you are in the world. We're gonna get a fire going on this beach right now. You guys can see from all this wild weather, there's so much driftwood that's pretty much washed up on the beach. So we're not gonna have an issue with getting driftwood. I've just collected a whole bunch of this pandanus guys. This stuff actually goes off really hard. It's a little bit damp, but look, this uh, fire should smoke it out and then she should start cooking. So I'm getting that straight over. Check out how epic our bloody fire pit's going. I found this epic Nautilus on the beach, man. It is so bloody beautiful. So we've got our fire pit right now and we've got some super light kindling in here. I'm trying not to bloody drip sweat onto it. We're gonna spark up this bad boy with our steel and flint right now. And hopefully we can get this fire going and get this fish on the cook. All right, I think we got it going here, guys. I think we got it, we got it, we got it. We got it going here guys, and you can see it is smoking up a whole heap, and that is because all of this wood and everything is quite damp from that rain a little bit earlier, but as it, I guess, absorbs all that heat, it's gonna dry out, and then that's gonna become a beautiful flame that we can cook our fish over. So I just went and collected some nice green pieces of wood, and what we got right here is our three different fish. You can see right there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these over the fire right now, we're gonna let them cook away, and then we're gonna give it a shot. Let's go. You guys can see right now, we got the $1 fish, we got the $10 fish, and we got the $40 to $50 fish right now. Those are just gonna slowly cook away. You can see this fire smoking up a whole heap, but that should absorb into that fish and make the flavor really nice, so. I cannot wait to try this. I've got it straight over the flame. I don't really care too much about the meat because I know it's only a $10 fish, but we've got to give it a shot later. Don't worry, I will not be doing this style of cooking for our bloody $1,000 animal, whatever we get. So this right now, you can see it's just slowly cooking away. Absolutely beautiful. Getting a nice charcoal outside. That meat on the inside should slowly be cooking it. And I cannot wait. I haven't even cleaned, gutted, or scaled this fish. I'm super interested to see what an animal like this worth $10 is like compared to the $1,000 one that we're going to get a little bit later on the episode. So stick around for that, guys. Our fish has been cooking away for probably about 15, 20 minutes now. I think she's just about done. We're going to take her off. You can see that's our cold trout right there. That's the $1 trigger fish. And then let's grab this mother-in-law fish. Oh, this one's going to be steaming. First of all, Let's try this $1 fish, man. You can see, look at it. It's a little trigger fish. You can see the meat right there. It's like really yellow and it does not have too much meat on it. You can see I've just grabbed a little bit of meat right there. I know why that's a $1 fish. The meat is like super bitter and it has like a really just like, I don't know what it is. It's like a bitter taste to it. It's just not nice at all. The $1 baby trigger fish. It's a no from me on that one, guys. Let's go to the mother-in-law, guys. We're gonna take the skin off and we're gonna give her a shot. The meat doesn't look too bad on this one. It's nice, it's pretty white. Usually the quality of the meat is determined by the amount of blood that it has in it. So the meat is pretty good. It has an outside layer of blood, but the other side is pretty clean. Let's get that down. It's not too bad, it's flaky. It has a good flavor to it. It'd probably be better in a curry or something like that by itself. It's not really the greatest meat. It's just not that nice. And finally guys, we got the coral trout here. And now these are a really sought after fish. They actually get imported into Japan by fishermen all across the world. So 
We're gonna take the skin off this and you can just see the quality of the meat and why this is a, such a sought after fish. Now you can take a look at the meat right there. Look how white that meat is compared to that one. And that pretty much means that this fish has not too much blood in it. And it's a really nice fish. So beautiful white meat, let's get that down. Oh yeah. That is an absolutely beautiful flavor to it, man. I can see why that fish is worth $50. A little bit of mayonnaise or a nice like sauce on it. This would be bloody going off like a frog in a sock. Alrighty guys, we've gone from a $1 piece of seafood all the way through to a $10 and a $50. Next is a $100 piece of seafood and there's no way that we can do it on the shoreline. We need the help of some locals on this island and that's where we're going. We're going to find a $100 piece of seafood. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this $50 fish is absolutely beautiful, man. I don't know how the hell we're gonna beat it later on, but I cannot wait for a $1,000 piece of fish or animal, whatever it is. Alrighty guys, we have gone through the $1 fish, the $10 fish, and the $50 fish. What we're doing right now is we're punching it for the horizons. We're whipping out the big dog right here. We got the spear gun, and we're going for an animal that's worth $100. We've got to send it out a fair way, guys. We're going to be diving around 10 meters of water, and hopefully we can find an absolute beauty in the caves, or who knows what we're going to find out here, but it needs to be worth $100. I think we got a little bit further to go and then we're gonna get in the drink and hopefully we can get something on this spear gun. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we've geared up. We got the spear gun right now. It's time to get in the drink and see if we can find an animal that's worth $100. Captain, are we good to go? Yeah. We need to try and catch a fish that's worth $100. Can we do this? Yes, you will. <laughs> I will? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's get in the water. All right, time to get in the drink. Let's go. Woohoo! Take a look at this bad boy right here, guys. We've just shot this beautiful Spanish mackerel, man. I'm absolutely frothing. Check out the chompers on this thing. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch a little bit further along the coastline and see if we can get some more food, guys. There's so many locals around here that just love fresh seafood and they do not have, I guess, the equipment like what we have to catch these beautiful fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in the water, see if we can get some locals or some fish. But this thing, this is going to be bloody beautiful eating, man. We have done it.
Alright, what a bloody afternoon it's been guys. We've got this beautiful Spanish mackerel right here and this beautiful golden trevally. And guess what Marco? Guess what? This one's your dinner brother. Thank you so much. <laughs> this one's your dinner. <laughs> guys, over here in Indonesia, fish pretty much means more than money. To be able to give back and give people fish and feed them, that's pretty much the best thing we can do here on Offshore Tales. So, hope you enjoy this one with your family, brother. Of course. Of course? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. We gotta go clean up this bad boy, the $100 fish. Let's go. We have done well, baby. We have got some beautiful species of fish right there. And also, we got some food for the locals. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch into shore. Hopefully, we got some sunset vibes and uh, we can sashimi or cook up. I don't know how the hell we're gonna cook up that beautiful Spanish mackerel and maybe also that little trevally. So. Yeah, let's go, baby. Woohoo! Man, what an insane afternoon that was, guys. We've just come in right now, and you guys can see that sun is slowly setting over the horizon. And I'm gonna take you through just everything of what we caught. We got the beautiful, big, golden trevally. We're gonna give this one to a local a little bit later on. We got this beautiful fish right here. This is the Spanish mackerel. And also, this bluefin trevally. Look at the colors, man. It's gone so dark right now. But that right there, guys, that is our food. This is only supposed to be the $100 fish, man. So I'm gonna be giving most of it away to all the local guys on the island. Like I said, guys, out here on these islands, to be able to give fish to the locals and everything like that, it literally means like more than money. Their faces just light up when you just give them fish, so. That's just something I can do is just use the talents, I guess, that God has blessed me with and the opportunity to put me in this location and give back to the locals on this island. It just goes to show, guys, the beginning of yesterday was one of the craziest days ever. We literally had cyclone brewing up around the island. We were eating sea cucumbers on the beach. And just then, we just went for one of the most beautiful, insane dives of our life. And we got some of the best fish ever. I'm just so grateful to be out here. I feel like so many of us guys, we're always living for the next thing. What's next? What's, what's bloody next week? What's the week after? But sometimes you just need to ground yourself and enjoy the current moment because this right here, this is the only thing that's promised in life, man. I love you guys all. Don't forget, be grateful and enjoy the present, baby. Let's get into this fish, let's go. This is the Spanish mackerel. And what they got is some of the most sharp razor teeth on planet Earth. You can see right there, they're bloody razor sharp. And that is because what they do is, when they feed, they come through and they actually bite the tail off their prey. And what that means is that the fish can't swim anymore. And then they'll come through and they'll clean up the rest of the fish. Now we got this one right here. Now this is the golden trevally. And you can see they do not have teeth. They've almost got this big old bucket mouth. And what they do is, they swim along and they feed against the sand. You can see right there, it's almost like a downward facing mouth. And they're sucking up worms and crabs and crustaceans. And that pretty much means that that's what these guys feed on. And then we got this one right here. This is the bluefin trevally. And what they have is small, just like kind of like mini razors. And what they do is it's almost like a grabbing mouth. They grab their prey and then suck it in and then gulp it in. We know guys, we're gonna give away this bad boy, which is the bluefin trevally. We're gonna give away the golden trevally. And this right here, this is what we're gonna eat guys. This is the beautiful Spanish mackerel. And this is a $100 fish. Well, $100 probably worth of fish here easily. It's a few kilos in this and it's a beautiful fish. So what we're gonna do is just the most simple recipe you can do. And that is just whack a steak of meat off this bad boy. All right, I'm gonna put these fish to the side because they're the ones that are going to the locals, guys. So we'll put those ones to the side. I just wanna take a little bit of meat off this fish. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make a small cut on the tail right here. And what I'm gonna do is just make my way along that backbone, trying to maximize as much meat as possible. Just trying to peel that meat away from that backbone. All right, we got our beautiful slab of meat right here, guys. And pretty much, all we're gonna do is just take some of that meat straight off that skin right there. We're gonna sashimi some of this Spanish mackerel. Look at that slab of meat right there. All right, we got one little secret ingredient, guys, we're gonna grab. I asked the locals here for soy sauce and they gave me this. I got no idea what it is, but I don't think it's soy sauce. So we're gonna chuck a little bit of soy on this meat you can see right there. Beautiful white Spanish mackerel sashimi. It just melts in your mouth. I don't even have to chew it. It literally just melts. But this has been one of the sickest afternoons, guys. And this is only the $100 fish. 
Tomorrow we're going after a thousand dollar animal. I got no idea what it's gonna be, but we're gonna put all of our heart and soul into chasing one of the craziest things out here in the ocean. That sun is setting over the horizon right now, guys, and it's just got me thinking about a few things. And I know there's a lot of you guys out there that have dreams, you have aspirations, but you're too scared to chase them. And me being right here and just doing this and calling this my job, it's literally like a miracle, man. So if there's anyone out there, guys, that has a dream or wants to chase something, just know that you have me backing you and also you have God. Get out there, work your ass off, and anything is possible, man. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna enjoy this sunset and that beautiful Spanish mackerel. And I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for the $1,000 animal. Let's go. Good morning to you guys. And it is the final day today. And we're out in the deep blue ocean because we're chasing $1,000 worth of seafood today. Our plan of attack is to send it far and wide to see if we can get an elusive fish that you cannot catch commercially, guys. Something that's worth a lot of money. But stick around because we're gonna to head to a completely different terrain in a little bit to find a very unique animal that's worth a lot of money. But first, we've gotta punch it out wide and get in the water and see if we can get some type of fish. You guys saw yesterday, it was absolutely wild with the $100 fish. So I don't know what the hell we're gonna to catch to top that, but we're gonna make it happen, baby. but that is one sick creature man he's so cute i just want to squish him but he's bloody spiky Alrighty guys, we've just come in from one epic dive and we've got this beautiful job fish you can see right here. These are one angry creature, but this is one of the best eating fish in the ocean. And that is because this fish cannot actually be commercially cooked guys. It's a reef dwelling fish and they pretty much prey on all these small bait fish that are dwelling the reef and they go down and they smack them up with these big teeth you can see right there. And this is actually one of the best eating fish in the ocean right here. But this thing, this is only worth a few hundred dollars guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore these tide pools behind me. The tide has drained out right now and that's gonna leave some very expensive animals for us to go find. So let's drop this fish off and let's start exploring because we need to add some more money to the tally. What we're looking for out here right now, guys, is just all these little pockets of water. And there's gonna be a few rocks and that's what we're looking for because underneath these rocks, there's gonna be some very, very, very delicious animals. Alrighty guys, this one rock right here is holding so much life. There's actually an anemone right here that has Nemo clownfish on it. So I've got this GoPro, I'm gonna put it underneath and see if we can get some shots of him. got an animal right here underneath this rock. I'm gonna just flip her over and see what's happening. Look at this, see him right here. This is what we want. All right, we got him right here. You guys can see, this is just a little baby sea urchin. And uh, this type right here is not very desirable. 
Not many people want them. They got a pretty bad flavor. So this one, it's his lucky day. We're gonna put him back. Not really worth anything, but nonetheless, a really cool animal. All right, let's put him back in his home. Take a look at this right here. This is a bloody giant clamshell, you can see. And there's an animal that was actually living inside of that. And you can see, obviously, it doesn't exist anymore, but that is an absolute giant right there. So we're gonna put it back. You never know, maybe a fish or something like that might call it home soon. Alrighty guys, I've just found something. Take a look at this. Inside this shell, there's like a clam and a lot of people like to eat these. They'll put them over the fire and then when they pop open, that's when they're ready. But we're not gonna eat him. He's not really worth too much and they're not the greatest eating, so we'll put him back. Alrighty guys, if you take a look at this rock right here, this is one of the animals that we're looking for. He's hiding underneath this rock right here. They don't move very quick, but they're bloody beautiful eating, and they're very sought after around the world. I'm gonna use my spear for this one, guys, because they are super sharp. Take a look at this animal right here. This is a giant sea urchin, and you guys can see he's literally still moving. And this is one of the biggest delicacies across the world. They can sell up to $100 per 200 grams of this sea urchin. And there's probably got to be about 10 underneath this rock right now. So you guys do the math. This is bloody one expensive animal. What we're going to do is we're going to take this bad boy and that fish and we're going to get one wicked fire going and get this thing cracked open and see how she goes down. The inside of these things, there's this bright yellow stuff and it's actually it's gonads. And apparently it's very sweet in flavor. We're going to give it a shot anyway take a look at that that is one wild animal alrighty guys we're down here at the beach and take a look at this thing it is still moving man and we got this beautiful green job fish right here what we're doing is we're getting a fire going and we're gonna get these on the cook man people pay over a hundred dollars US for 200 grams of this thing there was probably about 20 underneath that one rock you do the mass and this green job fish man this has got to be one of the best fish in the ocean so we're gonna get these on the cook. Cannot wait to try this, man. Let's go. We're going up into the bushes up here. We're gonna collect some driftwood on this beach. We're gonna get a fire going. That green job fish has gotta be one of the best animals in the world. And I do not shoot them very often, so I cannot wait to get it over the fire. We've got our fire pit right here, and I've collected this super light kindling. You can see, I don't want it to all blow away, so I'm gonna put it inside our fire pit right now. And I got a steel and flint right here. I'm gonna spark it up and get this thing going. All right, we got a small little flame going right here. Right, get this on. We got her, baby. Yeah. All right, let's get this. Hold on. Woo. Now that we got this fire going, we've got to get our fish prep and ready to go straight over the top. We've got our beautiful job fish right here. We're going to take her down to the tide pools and clean her up, get all the guts out of this thing. Let's go. And yeah, one of the coolest things about these islands, guys, is pretty much once we take all the guts out of this animal and we put it back in the tide pools, it's like an ecosystem. Everything's just gonna bloody feed on it. Let's see what's inside his stomach. There we go. You can see there's the fish. Whoa, I don't know what type of fish that is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> he bloody ate a prawn. Look at that. He's bloody chewing on a prawn. Goes to show you these jobbies will pretty much eat anything, man. You guys can see right there, we've cleaned him out. He's nice and clean. That thing is ready to go straight over the fire, spit roast style. I'm gonna feed this stick straight through his mouth and then out his ass. Then he's ready to go over the fire. We'll make sure it's nice and solid. Woo! All right, that's slowly gonna cook away and that's gonna be our meal. As long as we keep this fire fueled, that will get a nice crisp on the outside and cook through into that beautiful white meat. I cannot wait to try this. This is gonna be epic. Now guys, there was a few other animals down there that are, are very, very expensive animals, although just in different parts of the world. Now in Japan, guys, those puffer fish are actually edible. You need like a type of sushi chef that knows how to make the right cuts and they actually serve them for a premium. And that's because of the preparation and everything that goes into those animals. You guys know me. There's no way I'm bloody cutting into that thing because I'm gonna kill myself. And also we had those baby lobsters. If we had some big lobsters, they could have been part of the thousand dollar one for sure. You guys have seen, I've caught some big ones in the past, but right now, we got some weird animals. We got the sea urchin, which we're gonna pop over once this fish is done. And also, pretty much one of the best fish in the ocean in this green job fish. So, cannot wait to try it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that puffer fish was super cute. I would love to bloody take him home and keep him like an aquarium. I reckon he was like my best mate, man. I was just like playing with him, like swirling him around and stuff, like kind of making him dizzy. It's a sick animal. There's something about just having a fire. You guys can see our fish is slowly just cooking away right here. 
We still got our buddy sea urchin over here. He's still alive, he's still moving, but we're gonna crack these open. We're losing light pretty quick, so we might be going into the night, but that's not gonna stop us. All right, our fish has been cooking away for probably about 20, 30 minutes. I think she's just about done. We're gonna take her off the heat. Oh, look at that right there. Yeah, man, she looks beautiful. We also gotta grab our sea urchin. This thing, she's bloody spiky, and I'm not gonna lie, she's already put a bloody hole in me. I'm gonna put her up here. This is one unique dinner, guys. <laughs> Let's give this fish a little shot. You guys can see right here, this is actually one of the best cuts of meat. And that right there, that is its wings. You can see it is absolutely beautiful. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get some meat out of this. So moist, that meat. All right, let's get it down. Yeah. You can see why this is worth so much money. Alrighty, guys, I'm just gonna put this fish to the side. But that has gotta be one of the most beautiful eating fish I've ever had in my life. We're gonna enjoy that. But next, we need to crack this bad boy open. I think I'm just gonna bang it. It's so brittle, so. Trying to cover up my eyes so I don't get any spikes in it, but. I'm gonna split her straight in half. Oh my goodness. What we're looking for on the inside is this bright yellow stuff. And that's pretty much what you eat. That yellow stuff you get right there, it's not much of it, but that's its gonads. And that, that's the pie you eat. All right, let's get it down. I'm not gonna lie, it's a super unique flavor. It's salty, it's creamy. It kind of tastes like the ocean, and I can understand why it may be a delicacy. Look, I'm not gonna be bloody eating it every single night, but it's a pretty weird and unique flavor like nothing else on the planet. This is gonna be one of the most wild adventures we've ever been on, guys. We've gone from a $1 animal all the way through to $1,000, but it's just made me realize that these animals and the nature it's priceless. You cannot put a number on it. I love you guys so much. Please show your support. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Offshore Tales to grab all your gear. It's made for your adventures. And I'll see you guys in the next wild adventure. Much love. Shoo!